And here we go into another important choice point. Self-help, self-healing has been a very big theme for a very long time. And surely it has a very big importance as we are on a journey of being more sovereign and finding ourselves. However, often the self-help was also designed to fit in a certain program, in a certain paradigm. So the self-help was about being in a way designed that we fit in and we again achieve success. It is very much about success. And success is nothing bad. It's just that often success is connected and related and associated with a financial gain, with whatever is the prescription of success. And the self-healing obviously suggests, well, heal everything yourself. And of course, on some level, that is absolutely beautiful. And I feel a lot of self-healing is actually happening. It's just like if you have a discomfort and you start Googling and looking, what should I do? What's my sickness? That's not self-healing. So self-healing is more about tuning into the body and allowing the body to take that process. And it's also about being in a higher vibration so that the body naturally is in a state of self-healing and not you doing self-healing to your body. So we have all these beautiful niches and, and I mean, there's a, a huge literature by now and, and a lot of information and knowledge about self-help and self-healing. And yet there are moments when it's good to co-create. So it's not that you need to go with every little thing, like maybe you did before to the doctor or whoever your practitioner is. It is more like you choose where to co-create. So if a practitioner should come to you, it's not that that person is healing you. It maybe just means that there's a point where a co-creation is necessary where somebody has a particular skill or gift that helps you to step up so that you come into that natural balance of continue your self-healing. So I feel this is another very important thing when we, when we talk about this responsibility for self. Of course, into that goes self-love, self-care, all these kind of things. And again, often the self is referred to as a physical experience, as the mind, the homo sapien. The co-creation happens, however, on another level. The co-creation happens also in the subtle realms, in the space of the unconscious and subconscious, in the space of the superconscious. While we all have the ability to heal, sometimes we need a little impact, a little ingredient to allow that harmony and allow that vitality to come to its fullest. Self-help and self-healing, of course, is not as addictive as if we are always running to get a medicine or do something and get external help. Co-creation is a very independent and sovereign thing. It's just using your abilities of healing and taking care of self and somebody else when it's needed so that you can get into the next level. So that's the essence. And let me turn again to this little condor that wants to come to us. And maybe another little thing here, one of beautiful things to co-create is not only co-creation is also what you can do it's not just what somebody else does. And it's like somebody else puts their gift into something, their ingredients into your healing experience to maybe get your vibration higher. And maybe on the way they give you some secrets how to do that on your own, because once you are in a higher vibration, your vitality, your health, your well-being is naturally much better. 
so one of these little things is obviously a pendulum and i have worked with pendulums for a very long time i've sold them i gave courses and yes it moves on its own as you can see because it's just putting more energy into this process that we are having here right now in this conversation and the pendulum is a very beautiful way not about yes and no and right and wrong it's boring for the pendulum the pendulum really allows us to see what is the energy what is too much what is too little what can be put in so when a pendulum is yeah now i don't want to use the word programmed anymore when, when a pendulum is ready to work with you which you know when you go to a shop and it moves if it doesn't move, it's not yours, so don't even bother. Most pendulums want to work with me, so it's really difficult, and I have to limit my amount of pendulums, of course. But the interesting thing is, just like that, you can ask what needs balance. And you see, my pendulum is trying to figure out what needs balance. And I am not telling my pendulum what to do, but it's taking something out. So the anti-clockwise stands for taking out. And it's not that it's bad or anything like that. It just restores that balance that I'm asking for. And I don't need to know what it is. So you can have co-creation with something like a pendulum or a crystal. And of course, also with people who have a gift that you don't have, that have an ingredient that makes your journey of healing and becoming who you truly are easier. And here you go. Enjoy the little tone of the condor. So here we are, enjoy the transition. And again, it's like, take what you need and leave what's no longer necessary. Thank you so much for being here from my heart to yours.